All right, so Scorpio, the camera cut off, but it feels like Scorpio that your partner is more or less very stressed out about you, you know, taking initiative for yourself, not towards the relationship, but more so towards yourself and kind of withdrawing from the situation as a whole so that you can think, so that you can get yourself together, so that you can just be by yourself and ground yourself, okay? Maybe so that you could also focus on your finances as well. That's what I'm seeing here, all right? For those of you who are dealing with water signs, because we have the king of cups this here, it feels like a water sign has taken action. And um, it's like they're doing a lot of thinking about this love that they have for you or maybe even an offer that they wanna give to you. But I feel like this person is also withdrawn a bit um, it's not that they're, it's not that they're not emotionally available because I feel that they are and they have the potential of being emotionally available, but it's more so about them needing to get their thoughts together as well. It's like they're, they're doing a lot of thinking about maybe what it is they want to do in the future when it comes to love and romance and when it comes to you, but it's like almost... It's like this silent treatment that's going on between the two of you. It's like a lack of communication that's going on is what I'm feeling here. Okay, somebody's broken free because they felt like they sacrificed so much. Okay, and now it's like instead of sacrificing or committing or putting initiative towards this relationship, I'm breaking free. Okay, because we have two water signs here. Two water signs who are turned to, they're turned away from one another, okay? The feminine energy is turned away from that masculine energy, that water sign. So two water signs that are, have like turned away from one another. And it feels like um, this masculine energy may, may have decided to be rebellious in some kind of way. And maybe you've tolerated this rebelliousness. Or somebody has finally decided that I'm freeing myself from this situation. I'm breaking free from this situation. I'm breaking free from it. Um, someone, again, is definitely in their thoughts and in their head quite a bit. And it feels like they're thinking about their options. Okay, they're thinking about their relationships or this relationship here. And it feels like almost like... Um, they haven't been so lucky in love. Like, it, it feels like, you know, damn, I feel left in the cold. I don't feel so lucky. I'm not satisfied with the options and love that I have here. And it could be that your partner feels this way or they know that you feel this way, the both of you feel this way. But it's like a lack of, um, almost like a lack of hope. Losing faith, feeling left in the cold, feeling... um feeling abandoned to a certain extent is what I'm getting and it's like someone has their back turned away and they're looking towards the future here you or your partner and it's like what's to come someone you or your partner may be thinking about moving and again a lot of you guys may be in a relationship where it's a long distance it could simply be that you're at a distance from your significant other, which is causing a lot of stress on the relationship here. Okay, when are we going to come together? When are we going to see each other? When are we going to reunite? This is causing a lot of stress. I'm feeling left in the cold because I haven't seen, felt, touched my significant other. Okay, so it feels like someone is looking back. They're looking back at their past and they're doing a lot of thinking here. And they're wanting to take action towards either leaving a certain situation or going back to a certain situation. So your partner is doing a lot of thinking, a lot of reminiscing about you, Scorpio. Thinking about what actions they should take. Should I go visit her? Should I move to go see her? What's in the future? What's going to happen? What's going to take place between us? Because right now we're not communicating Right now, we're separated. Right now, 
Scorpio isn't speaking to me. Okay? So that's what I'm getting for you, Scorpio. Here we have three cards that represent your significant other's sensual desires behind closed doors. Okay, we have the Eight of Testicles. All right? So your partner likes they testicles, you know, touched, rubbed, whatever. I ain't even gonna get into that. Y'all some freaks. Y'all see the position and you see clearly that somebody's wanting to make love in the park on the bench maybe you've done it before maybe they really enjoyed it this could be their favorite position okay we have the chariot card so the chariot card is all about moving things forward forward motion okay and again it's like he turned her around same position masculine energy taking full control of the feminine energy and the chariot card that's like moving things forward with the two of testicles okay we have the masculine energy again taking control of the feminine energy um, this is like sex near a lake, a beach, um, but it looks more like a lake, like a lake. Um, but yeah, with the two of testicles, I do feel that your significant other is wanting to move things forward and wanting to come back together with you, wanting to come to some sort of conclusion, um, wanting to come to a common ground with you, wanting to get with the cherry card to move things forward. However, they're wanting to take things slow this time if you do, because they have the two of testicles. So that to me is like taking your time, taking your time, taking it easy. All right, so Scorpio, that is your reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for your general reading that I will be doing soon. And yeah, stay blessed, stay well. Ashe.